All right, nation, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to get to work. Uh, it's time for our first review of the 24 hours of reviewing, and we are going to dust off a classic. We're going to dust off one that appeared in the Cover Killer Nation Top 25 Albums of All Time list, the most modern out of all of those albums, between the Buried and Me's album, Colors. This superb album uh, was released in 2007, and there's a little bit of a backstory behind it. One evening... Cover Killer Nation and his best friend were in his basement, listening to albums, playing pool, and just generally being retarded. When a band came on, entitled Between the Buried and Me. The album was Alaska. The time was sometime p.m. They listened to this album. They were very pleased. Yeah, anyway, that's about it. Uh, so whenever Colors came out, a little bit after this had occurred, we both were already fans of the band, and we already had uh, a lot really kind of vested into this. We were hoping that this was going to be a great album, just like Alaska and their prior discography had been. And lo and behold, of course, we were absolutely blown away by this disc. Principally because the controlled chaos that was uh, present on the previous works uh, was once again present here, and it was something where it was actually being taken to an even greater step, uh, where it almost seems like in cut away fashion like Family Guy, they were adding these little musical ideas here and there uh, to almost grant a very carnivalesque environment uh, to this chaos. And uh, these little things, these little ideas that they've been able to infuse uh, and were able to infuse with this album were really what elevated it, not to mention the musicianship was superb. All of the ideas felt very connected. This is not an album that whenever they do this, it feels disjointed or hard to follow. Instead, this is an album where you're able to really stay focused throughout the whole entire experience, and that's uh, definitely a huge positive, definitely something that bodes well for this, definitely something that elevates its score. It's not something where you feel absolutely lost in the mess that is going on. So, whenever this album came out, of course, we had some expectations. We, it, I don't think that we thought that it was going to be this good. We didn't have this high of expectations. Uh, however, this is an album that is really being used as a comparison point for a lot of uh, works that have come after this. Now, not all people feel the way I do, thinking that Color is the Colors is the alpha male of the Between the Buried and Me discography, considering it to be at the top of the list. However, I, there are a fair number of people that definitely feel that this album is worthy of being the number one album that Between the Buried and Me has put out even to this day, and that they have, with each subsequent album, come very, very close to really uh, replicating that excellence, though in different ways. But Colors seems to always have that you know, that, that feel to it. And whenever you look at the cover initially, whenever you uh, looked right at that, it, it, it's weird because you see the different colors of the rainbow similar to what you saw in the prism uh, reflecting off of the pl uh, prism in Dark Side of the Moon, and all of a sudden, it's like, this is like the Dark Side of the Moon of the 2000s or something like that. This is one of those albums that just speaks the same way that Dark Side did. Now, obviously the commercial success and the availability, the, you know, the real drive and desire for all people to own this album, whether they're old, whether they're young, whether they smoke weed, whether they do pills, cocaine, cough syrup, is not the same. It's not at that same level uh, because these are different times. Uh, than it was whenever Dark Side was released and, and really kind of unleashed upon to the world and we of course got all the comparisons to Wizard of Oz and all that other junk. Uh, however, this album kind of has that same you know feel to it in the fact that it's really you know it, there's a concept behind it and you can tell in the free flowing nature of this it's almost uh, works and operates as one long song. And really, each individual song has something that speaks very vibrantly for it, uh, whether it is the very first track, uh, you know, the back track where you are kind of getting the introduction, you know, the real feel of the album, you know, it's almost your uh, slow emergence into the world that Colors is going to be kind of representative of. Uh, and then you move right on to tracks such as Informal Gluttony or uh, Sun of Nothing and Ants of the Sky where you're starting to get real deep into the meat of the insanity. Especially uh, Sun of Nothing and Ants of the Sky which really just flow one right into the next. Which means that the meat of this album, the middle of this album, could really function as one 24 minute long song had they not divided it up into the two parts. They could have done that if they really wanted to but instead they opted to split it up as two different musical ideas, two different musical representations of the album, uh, which I think was a uh, very strong decision on their part. However, the one thing that everybody 
first heard from this album was probably prequel to the sequel, considering that was the first official single that this album unleashed. And really, by comparison to the rest of the stuff on the album, it's not a bad song, but I consider it to be almost, you know, one of the weaker tracks. So really, you have this situation where the single that comes out still sounds really, really damn good, but by comparison to the remainder of the tracks, almost, you know, doesn't really measure up. And especially does it measure up whenever you consider the beast that is lurking after uh, a Viridian, White Walls, the 14 minute, 13 second long finale of this album. And let me tell you, this is a cr crucial, crushing finale. One that I can only compare to another song that was released same year by the band Forgotten Tomb off of their negative megalomania disc, Blood and Concrete. And the reason why I'm able to draw this comparison so creepily, mind you, is because they both follow a very similar structure, where you have the introduction, you have the, you know, the bass idea, then you have the, the meat of the song, you have your lyrical concepts that are split up with some instrument, uh, instrumentalization within. But then, Almost as though this was something where they called one another and said, hey, let's both do this. Cover Killer Nation will love it. You have the delivery of the final lines of the track. Now, for Blood and Concrete, it was two lines. But here, it's just the simple idea of white walls that is just extended out. You can almost feel the insanity of the individual that this track perhaps may be about really reaching the surface and bubbling over. But right after that happens, you have a little slight breakage and then into the finale idea, into the last four minutes of the track, which is very guitar-driven, very, very uh, drum-driven, and just is absolutely fantastic. The madness is well represented. The insanity is tremendously resplendent. And this is the way that this album ends. The way this album ends is ideally just like the way it begins with you kind of just being lost in this world. You're lost in this land for the entirety of the affair, and it's a phenomenal experience. If I was doing album reviews back in 2007, this would have been one that I would have done. And this would have been one where I would probably have granted this, uh, this release either a 9.75 or it may have even gotten the perfect 10. Uh, it's one of the best albums of 2007, if not the best album of the year. And this is one that I recommend to every single one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to Colors. You know you want to. For those of you who are fans and have heard this before, but for those of you who haven't, this is just like listening to Dark Side of the Moon for the first time. This is an experience that needs to happen before you die, so you might as well experience it right now.